All right, any pains or injuries before we start? Good, all right. All right, good day, everyone. This is Stephen Cheng coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through yubindi.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information is on the bottom of the video, as well as my website, simhayoga.com. Today's class is Mobility Flow. It is a level one, level one and a half type of class. We're doing a lot of mobility drills for flexibility and fluidity. Um, if you're working with any kind of special conditions or limitations, make sure that you do modify or skip poses altogether. Um, and always being mindful that you want to make some good decisions about your movement practice. All right, let's sit up tall. And let the palms face up. Fingers come to Gyana Mudra, thumb and index fingers touching. And as you ground evenly through your seat, elongate through your spine. And let your inhales even out with your exhales. Three ohms together, inhale. Um. Um. Keeping the eyes closed, hands together in prayer on front of the heart, pressing the thumbs into your heart, heart back into the thumbs, lifting the heart up toward the sky, setting your intention for yoga practice, devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself, your supreme self that lives within your heart, chanting the mantra for purification, purifying the space in which you practice yoga, call and response. Om Mapavitraha, Om Mapavitraha, Pavitrawa, Pavitrawa, Sarva Vushtan, Sarva Vushtan, Kato Piva, Kato Piva, Yaha Smarit, Yaha Smarit, Pundrikaksham, Pundrikaksham, Sapahya, Sapahya, Pihyandraha, Pihyandraha, Suchihi, Suchihi. Beginning to open the eyes, let the palms face up, fingers come back to Gyan Mudra. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side. Chin toward the right shoulder. Release back to center, drop the right hand, left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. Chin toward the left shoulder. Release back to center, drop left hand, chin toward the chest. Big circles with the head in one direction, ear to one side. Roll it back, opposite side, roll a center. A few more rounds in that same direction. And chin back toward the center and pause. And then taking the opposite direction. And chin back toward the center again. Lifting the chin parallel to the floor and neutral spine. Extending the legs forward, separating your feet. Hands supporting to either side and turning your toes toward each other and then roll them out. Draw in, roll out, draw in, outer rotation, circling the ankles. Back to center and switch them around, inner rotation.
and back to center again. Cross your shins and take the opposite shin on top. So this is a non-dominant crossing of the legs. Raise the arms up high and extend. Exhale, twist to the right. Stay twisting to the right. Raise your right arm up and overhead. Side bending toward the left. Come back up to vertical, wrap the right arm to the left knee. So crossing at the arms, inhale, lengthen, exhale, forward fold. Now as you fold, let the entire back side of the spine release, chin toward the chest, and then let the upper back broaden. Now then to intensify that with the hands to top the knees, pull the tops of the knees toward each other. And as you draw the knees toward each other, you're going to feel an even more broadening of the back. And then on the inhale, come up with eagle arms. So the right arm crossing over your left. So the right arm crossing over your left or eagle. Inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale, round it forward. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, round forward. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, round forward again. And this time, if you can, just hover forward. If you can touch your fingertips to the floor or your forearms down, go ahead and take it. So again, allowing the upper back to broaden once again and the back of the spine to release. And let's come back up to vertical, keeping your eagle arms. And then twist to the right, press your right arm up against your left. Take it back to center, twist to your left, press your left arm up against your right. And now back to center, releasing your hands, take the hands back behind you, outer rotation, so the fingertips roll out, take it slightly back behind you on your fingertips, lift your chest, broaden your shoulders, and gently looking up. Come back to neutral. Raise the arms up high, extend. Exhale, twist to your left, left hand behind you, right hand to your left knee. Stay twisting, raise your left arm overhead, side bending toward the right and extend. Take the torso back up to vertical, wrap the left arm over to grab the right knee Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold forward. So again, once you come into forward fold, allow the back to spread to open, allow the back of the spine to release forward, creating space. Then to intensify with your hands, pull against the tops of the knees. So at the, as the tops of the knees go toward each other, that gives you a sense of even more broadening to the back. And inhale, make your way back up with the eagle arms. So wrapping the arms, either single or double wrapping. Inhale, lift the elbows up, gaze up. Exhale, round it forward three times. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, round it forward. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, round it forward. And this time, stay hovering. Touch your fingertips down or touch your forearms down again. And just release forward. And make your way back up to vertical. And this time, twist your left. Press your left arm up against your right. Back to center. Twist to the right. Press your right arm up against your left. Release. Back to center. And releasing your arms again. Outer rotations through the fingers. So the fingertips roll outwardly. Take it back behind you. Lift your chest. Broaden your shoulders, gently looking up. Release, come back to center, raise the arms up high. Exhale, side bend to the right, right hand to the floor, left arm overhead. Then with your left fingertips, reach 
towards the upper right hand corner of the room and then keep extending, allowing the left shoulder blade to broaden even more. Then on the inhale, come back up to vertical and bend your left elbow. Left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, lift it back up five times. Left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, lift back up. Left elbow, right knee. Inhale, back up. Left elbow, right knee. Inhale, back up. Left elbow, right knee. Inhale, back up. Re-extend the left arm. Left hand to the floor. Right arm up. Inhale. Exhale. Side bending to your left. With your right fingertips, reach for the upper left-hand corner of the room and extend. Come back to stack, rise all the way back up to vertical. Bend your right elbow. Right elbow, left knee. Inhale, take it back up five times. Right elbow, left knee. Inhale, back up. Right elbow, left knee. Inhale, back up. Right elbow, left knee. Inhale, back up. Last one. Right elbow, left knee. Inhale, back up. Re-extend. Left arm up as well. Legs forward and gently take into a forward fold. Inhale, take it back up. Separate your feet wider, maybe off your mat, a little bit off your mat. Left hand is behind you, right arm forward, bend your right elbow. Inhale, draw the right elbow back. Exhale, twist your left. Inhale, draw the right elbow back. Exhale, twist your left. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist. Stay twisting to your left. If you want more resistance, the right hand to the outer left leg, you can adjust your left hand further back. Elongate again and twist deeper on the exhale. Release, square back to center, switch hands. Right hand to the floor, left arm forward, bend your left elbow. Inhale, draw the left elbow back. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, draw the left elbow back. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist, stay twisting. Then left hand can go to outer right leg, right hand can adjust further back, relengthen on the inhale, exhale, twist deeper. Square back to center. Let the legs go even wider. Left arm to the inside the left leg, Right arm reaching out and then side bending over your left. Right arm overhead and keep sliding to your left. Now, if you have more mobility, maybe your left arm comes to the floor, but keep pressing your arm to the inner left leg for resistance. And then if you can bind hand to foot, take the bind. Release, take it back up. Switch sides, right hand to inside the right leg, left arm reaching up and overhead and side bending over to the right. So keep sliding the right hand. And if your forearm can come down, take the forearm down, keep extending. And then finally, if you can bind hand to foot, take it. And making your way back up. Hands come back behind you. Outer rotation again, slightly behind you. Lift your chest, broaden your back, and gently looking up.
come back to neutral, start to walk your hands forward, keeping a neutral spine. Just start to bring your torso slowly forward progressively. Once you hit a spot where you feel like, okay, I'm getting a good amount of stretch, but I'm not rounding, right? Then stay there. If you start to round, that means you step back a little bit. Once you get a few breaths in and you're ready, you can always go a little bit further. Now keep going to the point that maybe your forearms can come down, right? Keeping your spine relatively neutral. If you can go further, you can widen your elbows, make two fists with your hands and taking your forehead down. Or if you can go even lower, right? So just keep working progressively, going into the hamstring stretch, inner thigh stretch, hip stretch, lower back stretch. All right, let's start to break. Lift the elbows back up, walk your hands back in. With your hands, she in the thighs, lift the knees so that you can bend the knees, soles of feet together, knees apart. So let's walk your heels in closer, grabbing the ankles and butterfly your knees oh, a few times. All right, come back to stillness, walk your feet slightly further. You can grab the inner feet or thread the arms underneath. And this forward fold, you can round your back as much as you want. Release, make your way back up. Step the feet to the floor wider than uh, hips width, so about mat width, and pivot to your heels. Hands come back behind you. You're going to windshield wipe your knees side to side. All right, come back to center, draw the left heel in, sit up tall, keep supporting with your hands to either side of you, and then pick up the right foot, flex your right foot. Then extend the right leg out, bend your right knee, draw the heel in. Extend and bend. Extend. Bend five more times. You can keep your hands supporting or raise your arms and balance here. Extend, bend. Extend, bend. Three, bend. Four, bend. Five, bend. Keep the heels bent. Everyone move your arms to your left side and then draw the inner thighs toward each other. Then you're going to draw the right knee forward, right heel back. Right knee forward. Right heel back, right knee forward, right heel back, right knee forward, right heel back, right knee forward, right heel back. Now keep the right heel reaching back and keep the foot off the floor and keep extending back. Now if you want to extend the right leg, you can. If you want to point your toes, you can. Or you can bend your knee. Either way is fine. You can flex or you can point. All right, release, come back up. Step the right foot down and switch sides. Draw the right heel in. Support with your hands either side of you. Pick up the left foot, flex your left foot. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. Extend, bend five more times with the hands supporting or arms go to either side. Extend, bend. Extend, bend. Three, bend. Four, bend. Five, bend. Keep the left heel in. Hands to the right side. And then draw the inner thighs toward each other. All right. Then you're going to draw the left heel back. Draw the left knee forward. Left heel back. Left knee forward. Left heel back. Left knee forward two more times. Back and forward. Back. And for this time, draw back and stay there. So you have options, right? You can keep the knee bent or you can extend the leg. You can keep the foot uh, flexed or pointed. So you can do any of those op options, whatever feels right for what your needs are. And release, 
Draw back to center, lift back up. Extending the legs forward again. Let's come back to left and right symmetry, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Now in this forward fold, because we're loosened up a, up a little bit, maybe find more length, but inhale, lengthening through the spine, lifting. Exhale, pull against your feet with your hands or your ankles with your hands and go deeper into the forward fold. And release, make your way back up, bend your knees, swing the legs back behind you. Come to hands and knees toward the back of the mat. You're gonna sit toward the heels, walk your hands forward. All right, we're gonna slither through like a snake into cobra. So keeping the chest low, bend at the elbow, slide the heart center forward, and then lift up into cobra. Then bend at the elbows, and then slowly slithering back. So we're moving the hips, shoulders, and the spine. Inhale, keep low, slither, slither forward like a snake, and then lift all the way up into cobra. Exhale, bend the elbows, and reverse the snake to draw back into child's pose. Let's do that five times, that's two. Inhale, slither forward, into your cobra, reverse your slither, back into child's pose, that's three. Notice you're also working your triceps on your way back as well. Inhale, forward, and up. Exhale, reverse, and child's pose, that's four. One more time, inhale, slither, forward, and up into cobra. Reverse your slither, back into child's pose. Down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose and round three times. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, right knee in. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, right knee in. Kick it up. Open up the hips. Bend the right knee. Re-extend the right leg. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Inhale, lengthen front leg, reach up high. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Lengthen, reach up high. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Lengthen, reach up high. Keep the arms up. Bending the front knee, warrior one. Then with your thumbs to the occipital ridge, which is the ridge of the skull. Uh, press your thumbs to the ridge of the skull, interlace your fingers, draw the elbows out wide, and then pull with your thumbs upwards, so you're lengthening the back of the neck, and then pressing your head back. So using the thumbs to the occipital ridge, interlacing your fingers, uh, fingertips back behind you, elbows out to your side, Lift the heart center up into a back bend. So this should give you a nice sense of lengthiness through the cervical spine. Come back to neutral. Raise the arms up high, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Lengthen front leg, reach up high. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Lengthen, reach up. Warrior two. Lengthen, reach up. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Right arm up and back. Exhale, side angle. You can modify elbow to the knee or the right hand to the floor. Left arm reaching up. Extended side angle. Left palm face down and reach forward. And then let's take big circles with the left arm by reaching the left arm up. Back, down, forward. So smooth circles five times. Up, back, down, forward is two. Up, back, down, three, up, back, down, four, up, back, down, five, all the way back up into reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot, stepping back, plank. In our one breath, exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Hands alongside the rib cage. three progressive cobras, inhale, lift up, baby, cobra. 
exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up even higher. Full extension of your arms if you have it. Full Bhujangasana. And release, child's pose. Seat toward the heels and fold. And down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, left knee and toward the nose around. Three times. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, left knee in. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, left knee in. Kick up. Open up the hips. Bend the left knee. Re-extend. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Take the back heel to ground down. Arms up high. Inhale. Lengthen front leg. Reach up higher. Exhale. Bend the front knee. Arms alongside. Inhale. Lengthen. Reach up. Bend the front knee. Arms alongside. Lengthen. Reach up. Keep the arms reaching. Bend the front knee. This is your warrior one. So again, thumbs to the occipital ridge, the ridge of the skull. Interlace your fingers behind you. Elbows go out to your side. And with your thumbs, pull upwards. So you're lengthening your neck. And then leaning the upper torso back. So you should feel a nice extension through the back of the neck. The legs are strong. And take it back to vertical. Raise your arms up. Warrior one. Open it up. Warrior two. Lengthen front leg, reach up higher. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Lengthen front leg, reach up higher. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Lengthen, reach up, warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse, warrior. Exhale, side angle. Again, modifying elbow to the knee or the hand to the floor, right arm straight up. Extended side angle, right arm reach forward, palm facing down. And then we're going to take five smooth circles um, with your right arm. So raise your right arm up, back, down, forward is one, up, back, down, forward is two, up, back, down, three, up, back, down, four, up, back, down five, all the way up into reverse warrior. And then hands to the floor, left foot stepping back plank. And then lower all the way down to the belly. Progressive cobra number two, a variation. Pressing into your hands, lift up baby cobra and stay there. Press into your hands, lift up a little bit higher. Press into your hands, lift up even higher. And lower all the way down, child's pose. Seat toward the heels and fold. Down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Right knee in toward the nose. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside of the right arm in touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes into twist, touch your left arm. Kick it back up. Step the right foot forward, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Lengthen out the right leg, triangle. Take the left hand to the floor. Frame your right foot with your hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold over your right leg in a pyramid. Left hand stays down. Right arm up to twist.
Right hand back down. Bend your right knee, walk your hands forward by about a foot and tip forward to stand on the right leg, raise your left leg up. Then take the left knee behind the right heel and draw almost all the way down and then lengthen to kick it all the way back up five times. Left knee behind the right heel, kick it back up as two. Left knee behind the right heel, kick it back up as three. Left knee behind the right heel, kick it up as four. Left knee behind the right heel, kick it up as five. Seated spinal twist. Draw the left knee behind the right heel and sit all the way down. So the right leg is on top and I sit all the way down. That's right. Right hand is behind you. Left arm is up and twist to the right. Inhale back to center, count a twist to your left. Back to center, step the right foot forward, lift up for warrior one. Right heel comes back, rise up. Open it up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, half moon. Right hand forward about a foot, lobe off to the right side, tip forward to balance, raise your left arm up. Reach the left arm forward, parallel to the floor, palm facing down, and then point the left toes back and reach in opposite directions, left uh, fingertips forward, left toes back. Get lengthy through that left side. And begin to step it back, reverse warrior. And then hands to the floor, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Left knee in toward the nose. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee outside of the left arm in touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes into twist. Kick it back up. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Open it up. Warrior two. Lengthen out the left leg. Triangle. Hand to top of the shin or to the floor. Right arm up. Right hand comes down, frame your left foot with your hands in a lengthen, act a fold. Right hand stays down, left arm up to twist. <clears throat> Left hand comes back down, bend your left knee, walk your hands forward slightly by about a foot or so. Stepping on the left foot, raise your right leg up, a standing split. The right knee behind the left heel and lower down a little bit, and then kick it back up, standing split. Right knee behind the left heel, five times, kick it back up. Right knee behind the left heel, kick it back up. Right knee behind the left heel, kick it back up. Right knee behind the left heel, kick it back up. See the spinal twist. Right knee draws all the way down and sit down. Left hand behind you for support, right arm up on the inhale. Exhale, twist to your left.
Inhale back to center. Exhale, counter twist. Release, warrior one. Step the left foot forward, support with your hands. Right foot comes back, arms up, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, half moon. Left hand forward about a foot, low ball to left side. Once you connect to your half moon, right palm face down, reach forward to the front of the room, right toes reach back to the back of the room. So get lengthy through the entire right side. Reach, reach, reach. Begin to break, step the left foot, uh, right foot all the way back, come up, reverse warrior. And then hands to the floor. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale. Right heel up. Step the right foot forward between your hands. Left knee comes down. Crescent moon. Take extra padding if you need. Lunging forward. And then once you're set, arms up. Venus mudra. And then let's everyone release your hands to your floor, tuck the left toes under. We're gonna shift back with the seat toward the heel, and we're gonna lunge your back forward. Keep your hands supporting. So forward and back a bunch of times. Draw it back for the right hamstring stretch, left quad stretch. Lunge it forward for the opposite. Draw it back. Lunge it forward two more times. Draw it back. Lunge it forward, draw back, lunge it forward. This time, draw back and stay drawing back and you have split, flexing your right foot, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Stepping your right foot down and turn the right toes out at an angle, 30 to 45 degrees, and the right thigh also turns out. Left hand goes a little bit wider. Raise your right arm up and behind you for the half bind to twist. Either stay with the left leg extended or bend your left knee and grab hold of the inside of the foot. Now, if you have the, uh, this position of the bind, then you're gonna draw the heel in and then kick it back up. Draw the heel in, kick it back out. Now, if you don't have the bind, you can keep the right hand to the right thigh and just bend and extend, right? Though so this could be a little bit strenuous on your knees, so maybe you don't have to come all the way down, but just some movement like this is fine. All right, so let's take that three more times. Kick and draw in. Kick it away. Draw the heel in, kick it away, draw the heel in. And then let's release, hands to the ends of the right foot, turn the right toes back in. You might even have to walk it back in. Frame your right foot and lengthen out into your pyramid once again. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Ground the back heel, rise up. Straddling for a bend, lengthen out the right leg, turn the right toes to the left side. Toes are just a little bit turned in, heels are a little bit wider. Hands to the hips, lift up for the back bend. On the exhale, take it forward into a forward fold. So you can always bend your knees a little bit to protect your hamstrings and your lower back. And once your hands touch down, you're gonna inhale, lengthen the spine once again and your legs. Exhale, hinge at the hips to draw forward. We can just let the head get heavy, shoulders and the neck get heavy, and that will help you just release toward the floor. 
If you have more mobility, it could be your forearms touching down, not just your hands. If you're less flexible, maybe you have to take full extension of arms or slight lifting of your chest. All right, so all those are based on your level of flexibility. We'll take a few more breaths here. I'll give you an option for those of you who like to invert here, you can invert. Otherwise, just stay as you are and get the benefits of the back body stretch. Make sure you're grounding strongly through your heels and your outer feet to support. And you're looking for as much lengthiness through the back of the legs, the lower back, and the spine as possible. All righty, let's start to break. If you're taking a variation, come out of your variations. Let's everyone take the hands back to the floor. Bending at the knees, drop the seat slightly. Then lift the head and the upper back, so now your spine is activated and in a neutral position. Shift your weight back towards your heels to lighten the load to the front bodies, and then on the inhale, using the strength of your quads, lift up with a neutral spine, and then turn the right toes forward, expand your arms for warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, chaturanga dog, down dog. Were you a little bit dizzy? Okay, so take your time. Sometimes when you come out of the pose, the blood rushing could be a little bit um, uh, dizzying, right? So make sure you take your time to come in and out. All right, inhale, left heel up. Step the left foot forward, crescent moon, right knee comes down. Extra padding to your right knee if you need it. And then lunging forward. Once you have the base set, then you're ready to take the arms up, the Venus Mudra. Alrighty, let's take a hand to the floor to either side of the left foot and tuck the right toes under. We're going to come forward and back um, a few times to bring movement to your front and back of the legs and the hips, all right? So with your hand supporting, shift back and draw the seat toward the heels and fold, and then shift it forward and lunge in forward five times. Shift back, lunge forward, shift back. Lunge forward, two more times, shift back, lunge forward, shift back, lunge forward. This time, half split. You're going to draw the hips over your right knee, flex your left foot, so it's at a slightly higher position, in a lengthen, exhale, fold. All right, step the left foot back down, and then also turn the left toes out at a slight angle. Right hand goes a little bit wider. Inhale, raise the left arm up and behind you for the half bind to twist. And right, keep the hips moving forward, so you want to get stretch into your right quads. And if you're going further to bind, bend your right knee, reach back with your left hand to grab the foot. And then once you have that, we're going to uh, bend the right knee more by drawing your heel in and then kicking it back. So back and forth a few times. If you're not taking the bind, you're just bending and lengthening the leg a little bit. Now bend and draw it in and then kick it back two more times. 
draw the heel in, kick the foot back, draw the heel in, kick the foot back, and then go ahead and release, turn the left toes back in, walk your left foot in as well, pyramid, hands to either side, and fold. Bend the left knee, ground the back heel, warrior two, circle it up. Lengthen out the left leg, turn the left toes to the right side, straddling for a bend once again. So let's check your feet. Your legs should be symmetrical. Your toes are just slightly turned in a little bit so that the outer legs are a little bit um, more extended with a wider heel. Hands to the hips, lift up for the back bend. Then come up. If you need to bend your knees to protect your hamstrings and your lower back, go ahead and make your way forward. Once your hands touch down, then you can re-lengthen your legs and your spine. Exhale, forward fold. And again, looking for the lengthiness of the back body, that the head and the uh, upper torso get heavy to draw you forward and downward. All right, it might feel just great here, just support it with the hands and let the head get heavy to get lengthiness to the cervical spine. If you like to invert, you can invert once again. Maybe for those of you who like to take other options, you can twist. Right hand comes to center, creating a tripod. Left arm up to twist. Take a few breaths there, and then you can switch directions. All right, alternatively, you can walk your hands over to one leg, fold forward over that leg. Take a few breaths and go the opposite way. You have a few more breaths here, taking the pose of your choice. All righty, wherever you are, let's start to finish up with your variations. Coming back down with your hands supporting. With your hands on the floor, bend both knees and let the feet drop a little bit. Lift the head, lift the upper back. Uh, torso is now in a neutral position. Draw the weight back toward the heels and through the strength of the legs and a neutral spine, make your way up into warrior two. Turning your left toes forward. In a reverse warrior and then chaturanga up, dog down, dog. Pigeon, right leg up. Draw the right knee in, land the shin to the floor. All right, so supporting with your hands, reach your left knee for the back, and then Draw the torso forward. You can stay in your forearms. If you have more mobility, you can get a little flatter. Uh, hands as pillows or as flat as you can toward the floor. All right, let's make your way back up. 
take the right seat down, swing the left leg forward, and you're probably off to the right side, so center your seat. Bend your left knee, grab the foot. And if you have full extension of the legs, take it. If you don't have full extension, you can bend your left knee. You're grabbing either side of the foot, or you can grab the back of the left leg. All those are good options. Then if you tend to round your spine, I want you to think about lifting your chest, leaning the head back slightly, and think about a neutral spine. So think of a V, two straight lines. And then let's twist from here, right? So notice that the left heel lines up with the left hip, shooting straight forward. Try not to let the leg travel to either side, okay? So shooting straight forward. Right hand to grab the outer left foot. Keep the gaze looking at the leg. Reach your left arm back to twist. Now once you have your deepest twist and the leg is in the correct positioning, now you're ready to look back behind you. So Sayuri, notice how the leg just went like this. Shoot it straight forward from the hip. That's right. And release, square back forward, release and swing the left leg back, making your way back to down dog from that pigeon. All right, second side, left leg up. Draw the left knee in, land the shin to the floor. Into your right knee further back. And once you're elongated and you're feeling pretty level and you're ready, make your way forward. Alrighty, let's start to make your way back up. Take the left seat down, swing the right leg forward, and you're off to the left side a little bit, center your seat. Bend your right knee, grab the foot or the calf, and then extend forward the best you can. And then if you tend to round your spine, I want you to think about lifting your chest, leaning the head back slightly, and imagine a uh, letter V, right? two straight lines in an angle. And so again, look at the placement of your right leg, right? So the right heel shoots straight forward from the hip. So when you twist, we tend to let the leg travel to either side, right? I want you to avoid that traveling of the leg. I want you to keep the left leg, uh, right leg straight forward. I'm gonna twist, left hand, grab the outer right foot. Keep that alignment. The right arm can reach back and twist in the spine. Now, once you have that twist and you're feeling pretty stable, then you can look back behind you. And start to square back forward, bend your right knee, swing the right leg all the way back and through that pigeon, make your way back to down dog and pedaling out the legs.
Walk your feet forward towards your hands. Take the seat down. Start to recline onto your back. Let's take your recline twisting. Draw the left knee in, extend the right leg out. Left arm out to a T and twist to the right. And take it back to center, switch legs, switch arms, twist to the left. Back to center again, hugging both knees in. And when you're ready, step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward. Shavasana, final relaxation. Feet are separated, toes turn out, arms alongside. Let it all go. Begin to draw your breath back in, moving your fingers and your toes. When you're ready, reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite directions, and then rolling over to the right side and come up to a comfortable cross-legged position. Let's take a non-dominant shin on top, reconnecting to an even seat, a lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. Inhale from Aum. Hands together in prayer, bowing forward, sealing in the practice. Inhale, come up. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for being here this morning. All right, and thank you for sharing your practice with me. My name is Stephen Chang, coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, somehowyoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through ubindi.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video. 
And um, all of this can be found on my website, somehowyoga.com. Thank you again for joining me. See you next time.